Hi everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Today I wanted to bring you three more rustic farmhouse inspired Easter DIYs. The first one I'm going to do is an egg topiary tree. The second one is just kind of some rustic um, eggs decorated with some jute and different types of items like that. And then just this burlap bunny door hanging or you can hang it wherever you want. Um, they're all very easy to do, very inexpensive. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will chat with you at the end. For the egg topiary tree, these are the items that you're gonna need, which is really not that much. I have a nine inch foam cone um, I have this little planter. You can use any little planter that you have around your house. I found this one at Michael's. Um, Dollar Tree has some also. So whatever you have would work great. Um, I have three different kinds of paint. I'm using, they're not mixed yet, so it doesn't really look like lavender, but one is gonna be lavender. One is gonna be gray. Those two are chalk paint. And then I have just an acrylic paint in brown because I'm gonna splatter them like a robin's egg, basically. And then, Oh, actually I have three. You're gonna need three cartons of these little Easter eggs. Um, they are only, as it says right there, $1.98 at Walmart, which I think is a great deal. So you could dye these or whatever you wanna do with them, but we're gonna use these. And one is gonna be all painted lavender. One is gonna be, one tray is gonna be painted lavender. One tray is gonna be painted gray. And then I will have one tray that's left white and they will all be splatter painted with the brown. And then you're gonna need some uh, moss, whatever kind of moss you like. I And then supplies, which I don't show here, is a hot glue gun and a paintbrush, and that's pretty much it. So let's get started with painting the eggs. Won't you sing out your frustration? The one thing I can say about this project is it is very messy because there's no way to hold those eggs and get them all painted without getting paint all over your fingers. Luckily chalk paint washes off very easily. So I chose to do lavender and like a silvery gray and white because that is the colors that I have in my house but you could customize this to whatever you want. Um, a really pretty robin's egg blue with gray and white would be really pretty or whatever you like, pinks, whatever would match your decor. Um, and then I tried to splatter paint these and it did not end up working. It was an absolute disaster. So I ended up using a bronze colored Sharpie and just speckling the eggs that way. And that was so much easier. I would highly recommend that. But I told you so. I love using moss because I love the effect it gives, but it is so messy. So I guess overall you can say this was kind of a messy project, but I am so pleased with the way this turned out. I would have paid so much more had I gone to TJ Maxx or um, you know Home Goods to buy this. I would have paid, well, it would have at least paid a little more and this I could customize to the colors that I wanted.
This next project we are doing are the rustic Easter eggs. So I had a couple eggs left over that I had painted that I ended up not using. Um, and then I took a couple extra white ones that I also had left over. And I covered three of them with moss and decorated them with some ribbon. And then the other two, I think I covered one with jute and the other one with like a white and tan cording and just decorated those to kind of give them a rustic look. I'm not hiding anything I think you know me too well I'm always coming up short on words You should know that by now We've been down this road So I'm not sure what you... So for this last project um, I have a bunny printable. I don't, I, for some reason, I'm having a hard time linking it, but if you search um, bunny uh, template or Easter bunny template, there's a bunch that'll come up. So you can pick really whatever style you want. And then I just folded my burlap in half and then folded it in half again the other way so that when I cut it out, I'll have both halves um, of the bunny. So they're basically gonna be exactly the same. So I'm just tracing the printable on the burlap, gonna cut it out. Um, I started to stitch it with regular thread and then I realized that was not gonna hold because burlap um, has so many holes in it. So I used my um, Cecil rope and actually sewed it that way with a big um, needle that I had. So that worked a lot better. And then I just used an old pillow that I was gonna throw away. I just cut it open and used the stuffing out of that and stuffed it and then put, made a bow, a simple bow and a cottontail 
and just glue, hot glue those on, but you can do whatever you want. You can put like a little flower for the tail. I just like really simple decor, but you could do whatever you want. You could add more florals, um, different color ribbon, you know, however you want to customize it to what you like. Keep wandering away If you made up your mind To leave this behind Then I can't force you to stay So you could actually trim this so that the edges aren't so frayed or I hear that you can use a lighter to burn off some of the frayed edges. I don't mind the frayed edges because I think it gives it that rustic look, but whatever you like. So if you want to trim it, um, you can do that to make it look a little neater. So you'll see that I purchase all of my, most of my DIY supplies from Walmart. Um, I like Dollar Tree, but I honestly find Walmart, you get a little bit more for your money. You might pay a little bit more, but the quantity usually is a lot more. And sometimes the quality to me is a lot better. I do still buy things at the Dollar Tree, but I don't know. I find when I buy stuff at Walmart, then I have stuff left over for other projects. So to me, it makes it a little bit more worth it to spend just a little bit more. But a lot of these supplies probably could be found at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, so, you know, you can just buy supplies wherever you like. That's just how I like to or where I like to purchase them. So this is how the projects all turned out. I think they're really cute. They were so easy and so affordable, very rustic looking, which is what goes perfectly with my house. I feel like the egg topiary tree looks way more expensive than it was to make. And I think that's probably my favorite project that I made this time. Um, let me know what you guys think and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a lot of great ideas for some front porch um, spring and summer DIYs coming up. So let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to see. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.